All right, so here's the deal. I freaking hate painting. It's time consuming, it's messy, and I'm just not very good at it. I guess I just don't like it very much. It's one of those things that I just never enjoyed. Now, I'm really not trying to be dramatic or get pity from you or guilt you into subscribing. You can subscribe if you want. Hit that bell notification, just saying. But I just don't like it. So that's why today I am going to share with you a very, very inexpensive tool that'll help you paint this door like I did and it'll come out looking like a pro every single time. That's right, no expensive pneumatic spray guns, no brush strokes, no runs, and you'll still see the detail in the wood. And that's real nice like. All right, so let's check this out. Let's talk about some of the problems that you probably have. That's why you're here, right? Right here, we got some molding. It already has the primer on it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it. Now, the problem with rolling is, even if you get the more expensive rollers, you're always gonna see that texture. We'll call it fisheye. And even though somebody coming into your house or your office thinks it looks great, you, as a perfectionist, still sees the imperfection of the roller. But what about the spray can? You get some nice results from it, you know, until you can't feel your finger anymore from pushing down that button. <laughs> Oh, my finger. Uh, oh, I can't feel my finger. But luckily, my evil twin was there to help. <laughs> now, to avoid all of that, I am going to show you one tool that I've literally stared at for a couple years and just never pulled the trigger. I never bought it, and I wish I would have. I'm going to show it to you right now. Say hello to my little friend. Now, let me clear something up. I bought this at the Home Depot with my own money for around $19. You can buy it on Amazon, which I'll put a link in the description below, for around four and a half. Why the big price difference? I just don't know. All right, hold up, hold up. Can we just stop for a second? Can you stop complaining? Now, I'm gonna show you how this is used, but before we do, I wanna let you know something. This does not become part of the can that you are using. It's not a nozzle per se. So it's never gonna get clogged up. Again, I'll show you how it's used, but what's nice about this is you can use it over and over and over again, as long as you don't run it over with your car or truck. Let me show you how this thing works already. Right here, we have a piece of molding. Now, usually when you buy molding or if you buy a pre-hung door, they're always primers. So you scuff those down, you know, get your sandpaper real light grid or sanding pad. 120, 150, and just take that stuff down a little bit, get it nice and smooth. Once you do that, it's ready to spray, and it is going to be real nice like by the time we're done with it. Now this one right here is already white. We're going to put red on the back, and I'm really gonna allow you to see how this stands out and get that nice glossy finish. Yeah, so we got our spray paint, and we're using Rust-Oleum again. Not sponsored. But as I had mentioned earlier, when you're doing something like this on a small project, it's not that bad, but you're pushing down that trigger constantly on those larger doors and just larger projects. It really starts to hurt your hand. That's when you start getting sloppy. It's not good. All right, so what we're going to do is take this Rust-Oleum slide attachment, and you can see right here, there's a little opening. It just goes around the top of this can like so. Now you can see it fits around that brim. It's not gonna slide off. It holds on pretty tight, but you wanna make sure that your spray nozzle is facing forward. You don't wanna cover that up. But check this out now. When I pull this trigger, watch that little tab up on top. It'll come down and press on that spray nozzle for me. And instead of only using one hand to push down, now I can use two on that trigger. So here we go, let's give it a shot. So that was our first coat. That was super simple to do. And what this does, it allows you to actually use this like an air sprayer. You can get that nice width. You can spread it out. You can stop, come back, stop, come back, stop, come back. It just really works nice and it goes on really even. Not to mention my finger doesn't hurt anymore. Now while that's drying up, let me say one other thing. If you don't have primer on your material already, you can buy the primer in the spray can and use this with it. And then just change out the can, put your paint on and spray it. All right, so we're ready for our second coat. So all I'm gonna do is the same thing. I'm gonna hit it this side, and I'm gonna come around on this side and hit it that way because you don't wanna miss the insides of those grooves.
And there you go, super shiny, super clean, looks like a professional did it. We use the semi-gloss on this and look at the shine. It goes on perfectly with this. I could not be happier with this Rust-Oleum spray nozzle. I mean, if you're asking me, <laughs> that's real nice like. Not one single brush stroke. Now again, the one thing I love about this is how cheap it is. Like again, three and a half dollars, how clean it is. I don't have any red paint on my hands. The one thing I usually end up doing because my hand gets tired, my finger gets tired when I'm using these spray cans is that my finger will accidentally start slipping over the top of these and I'll start getting paint on them and, and it just sprays all over the place and ends up nasty on the job. So I'm telling you, definitely check this thing out. I'll put a link in the description below for you. Like I said, only a couple dollars. You can pick them up at the Home Depot. Not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. I just wanted to try it and uh, really happy I did. Now I will tell you that I thought that this would fan out a little bit. The way they make the pictures look is that you got that nice spread, but you really don't. You're just getting what you get from that spray nozzle. It doesn't do anything other than push down on that trigger. So if you think you're going to get that nice fanning, you're not. It's just going to be the normal spray velocity that you would get from a can. But other than that, it is worth every single freaking penny. I wish I would have grabbed one years ago and uh, I didn't because I'm cheap. Now, if you like this video or if it helped you in any sort of way, please don't forget to smash that like button. That's greatly appreciated. If you like these type of videos and you want to see more, don't forget to get subscribed and hit that bell notification. Now, I'll also put a video here and here for you to check out. I always appreciate you stopping by and with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.